Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to Wendy Hill Kennel. It is a beautiful fall day. We were supposed to have a lot of rain, and that didn't happen. And so we are out in the yard, which we didn't think we would be able to do. And this is Peaches and Sandy's kid. Single kid of Sandy, the rest are Peaches. And they are all sold. So if you are seeing this on YouTube, I'm sorry, but you missed one of these little darlings. Uh, these guys are doing super, super good, though. And if you are looking for a schnoodle and you're on, oh, we're both going to go up the slide backwards. They got to learn it. <laughs> they got to learn it the wrong way, I guess, before they learn it the right way. Um, we have an expected litter page on our website and we have several litters already listed. But if you look at it and you're interested in a schnauzer, please don't get your heart set on Grace. I'll have her. Um, I don't think she's bred. Vanessa says she thinks she is. We are going to have her ultrasounded on Friday. <coughs> so I will either post, yes, she's bred, or I'll post and I'll take her off, and then you'll know she's not. All right, so these guys uh, are able to start going home on the 12th of October. They're being spayed and neutered on the 9th. And um, so Vanessa and Brittany were kind enough to do weights. I always want to say weights and measures. Uh, do weights for me. So uh, I've got a little paper with all their collar colors. And these guys are going to be much easier to spot collar colors on than Shammy's kids were. That was a real feat, I'll tell you. All right, so let's start. I'm going to try and leave a scanned out view so that you can watch these guys while I read the list. I can't do both at the same time. All right, so the purple collar is a female, 8902. She weighs four pounds on the button. Um, the light blue collared one out here is a male. It's 8903, and he weighs four pounds, 11.2. The neon orange collar out here is a male, and it weighs, is 8983. It weighs three pounds and 15 ounces. They've never seen these tubes before, and I saw somebody just zip through it for the first time, so that's good. Uh, next is the royal blue collar, and it's a male, and it's 89.04. It's three pounds, 15.6. I love this. I should have turned the ladder the other way because there is steps on the back side of that slide. Uh, the next one is a pink collared female, 89.05. She is three pounds, 8.4. And last but not least is the forest green collar, 89.45. And that puppy is 4 pounds, 5.6. They are 6 weeks and 6 days old. Oh, that was a bad dismount over there on the slide. Um, I also should tell you, this is the last video that we will do of these guys. They're going in on Monday. or on I'm sorry, they're going in on the 9th. So, well, I lied. We'll do one more video next week. So, phew, I'm glad I thought of that. So, yes, you will get one more video. And then there will be no more videos. And that will be the end. Um, so let's see if we can find you collars. You can see the pink collar on that little girl right there. And coming down the slide is the, I don't know, forest green. I think that's Sandy's puppy. This one right there. And right behind him is, can't tell, it's gone. They left me. Um... Oh, this one's finally going up the ladder the right way. He said, oh, this goes this way. That's no big deal. That's turquoise standing right there. Uh, neon orange is right there, zipping around. Thought about going through the tunnel, but didn't. Turquoise is on the slide over there. Oh, what else am I hunting? Where's royal blue? This little one right here, I can't tell what color that collar is. Come here, little stinker. That's royal blue. Yep, he says, that's me, I'm wagging my tail. That's Royal, <laughs> he swung his head so he could see, there it goes. That's a Royal Blue. Pink, who else have we missed? Forest Green is Sandy's kid. It's taken off, well, Neon Pink and Sandy's kid are both on the slide back there. I think I'm missing one more color I haven't found yet. Uh, purple? Yep, yeah, purple is Okay, I know where it's at. I'm not going to let my... It's coming through the slide right there. That's purple. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I think so. Yes. It's like a wine color purple. I can't remember. 
Yeah, it's purple. Oop, wiped out. Says that knocked me clear off my feet. So that's the purple one laying there underneath me. So I think we've spotted everybody. There's orange and forest green and pink. This one back here says, I know I can climb on top of this thing. That's the turquoise one. It could not get its feet to stick. Oh, there it comes. Got gloomy all of a sudden out here and it looks like it's darker in the camera. Oh, I just did that to the screen. I'm very sorry. Did not mean to do that. All right, I give up. I'm gonna have to be gloomy, I guess. Um, these guys have been really good. They've absolutely been weaned for, golly, Peaches quit weaning these at about five and a half weeks old. She was snapping at them and everything else. So they went on my goat milk. Um, I know I've mentioned before I milk goats. So they uh, have been enjoying goat milk, which oh, I love goat milk. Even my husband drinks it. We don't buy milk anymore. So I know what goes into my milk. Um, what else can I tell you? They are current on everything they can have. They are, <laughs> they're, they're flopping all over the place. Um, they're ornery, they're ambitious, they like to play. And the biggest thing I can tell you is you need to wear their energy off. So the whites really look white. There's the one with the black ear, ta-da, right there. You can see that dirty black spot on the ear. There's the purple collar. And you, oh, wiped out. <laughs> That was a sneaky wipeout. The white ones, I don't know if they look like it on the video, they look really white. But they're not. They're like a cream color with buff colored ears. And uh, the other two are, one is going to stay an apricot, kind of like peaches. And Sandy's kid, I think it's going to end up with apricot ears and probably a cream color coat because it's a cream color underneath of there. Um, you can come up with things to do at home. These are just a couple old pieces of tile we had, and I had my husband cut the bottoms off of them, so they sit right on the grass. Sometimes they roll, and then they get scared of them, so we just cut the bottoms off. You can do, um, oh, they make those really inexpensive kid tunnels, and those are a lot of fun for them. That's Forest Green sitting here going to cry at me. But think of things for them to do. Uh, they've about outgrown this baby slide. They kinda, it's not much of a challenge for them. If they were gonna be here like four more weeks, I'd get a bigger slide. Um, but this slide is good for, still gives them something to jump off and plant their face on. You know, if you buy a little set of stairs and you hook two set of steps together, it gives them something to climb up, stand on the platform, climb down the other side or leap off of that's always fun and so sometimes it takes a little bit of ingenuity to think of things to keep them busy um, don't always give them the same thing to play with change their toys and i did new videos today so tonight i plan on sending everybody out their puppy videos i accidentally deleted all my puppy videos but it's okay because when i went back on youtube and found them way back like in 2021 uh, they are so old and I thought you know what I'm gonna update and I accidentally deleted them so I had to update so I did some new ones today um, so I'm gonna send those out to you in an email and those will be things that are private on my YouTube channel but you will have the links you can click on them and I'll put them in the order like first second and third and then there's a video on uh, snacks and bones and things like that I also, whoa, that was cool. That one did a totally backflip somersault the wrong way on his head. That was a little uncomfortable. He was kind of coughing when he got up. I think he ate, he's still coughing. And the orange collar is the one that did the face plant. He said, oh, I'm laying down. He had a rough flip. So you'll have to watch that when they're running. I just caught glimpses, glimpses of it as I saw him go over when I looked back down at my camera. Um... But energy is a huge thing if you don't wear it off. If you're also, you can put up an X pin in your yard if you don't have a fenced in yard. This is a 24 inch one. Do not get a 24 inch. Um, I have these snapped together. You can see them with these like, um, well, they're actually, I swipe my horse. My husband has a draft horse supply business. So these are actually harness hooks. 
that snap on, but you can get open end snaps at any hardware store. And so I just have these, oh my gosh, this is so dark. Okay, I guess that was my fault, it was dark. Um, I just snap them together. And this is actually three of them. And it makes a big play area. So if you don't have a fenced in yard, for 100 to 150 bucks, you can have a big fenced in play area for your dog to run and wear its legs off. But get at least a 36 inch or a 42. Don't get a small one just because they're puppies. Get one that's going to fit it as an adult. And um, that way they never try to climb it and you, they have a safe place to play. And it's a place that you could put them in your backyard where you could see them when you're in the house working. Let them play. They can go to the potty if you want them to potty in a certain area until they're bigger. Um, as a little guy, they're going to go right out your door and potty on the deck or on your front porch. So once they're bigger, you don't have to teach them to go away. They will go as far from your house as they can to go to the potty because they don't like to potty where they live, eat, and play. So um, other than that, there's not a whole lot going on. The girls gave them all a fresh bath today. They did toenails today. And uh, we're going to leave them out here for a while and let them play. So um, check your email by some time in the morning or tomorrow afternoon. They may be on before that, but I know me and thinking I'm gonna get stuff done. Plus I milk the goats at eight o'clock at night. So, and I'm making bread today. So uh, I stopped and it's not like I don't have enough to do, but I decided to make sourdough bread for dinner. So I've got bread rising in the kitchen to bake. So sometimes my day doesn't go the way I want it to. <laughs> but. I hope you've enjoyed their video. Yes, we will have one more video for you. I'm not going to run you short on videos, but next week's will be their last video. Probably, um, and I don't know my schedule, but I know Monday I'll be at the vets with, oh, uh, golly, who goes? Shammy's goes on Monday, and so does Hazel's. So I will not be doing videos on Monday. So it will be Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday next week when you get your videos done. So uh, watch for those next week. And if you have any questions between now and then, if you have not booked in, please do so. I'm trying to get everybody booked in and finished. So uh, we have puppies that are due and I really need the room. So um, they can start going home on the 12th. So please get your vet appointment set. Call me for a, pick, a pickup date. And uh, if you haven't already, and we will talk to you later. Have a great rest of your week and a blessed weekend. We'll talk to you later.